The Byzantine Generals problem is a classic problem faced by any distributed computer system network. It addresses the question of how a distributed computer network can reach a reliable consensus even when some of the nodes or computers on the network may attempt to pass along fraudulent information. The internet has opened up many new avenues for commerce and education, but how can we trust a random person across the world? So here's the scenario. Imagine that the powerful Byzantine Empire has decided to capture a city. Of course, they're going to face fierce resistance. The Byzantine army has completely encircled the city. A good strategy, however, this has separated the Byzantine army into separate encampments. In order to ensure that the army can surround the city, the army has to split up into groups led by different generals. Now as many divisions, with each division being commanded by its own general. The generals communicate with each other, as well as with all under their command within their division, only through messengers. How can the generals efficiently and accurately communicate without fear of their message or plans being compromised? Additionally, all of the commanding generals have to agree upon one of two plans of action. Either they all attack part at one particular time, or if faced by fierce resistance, conduct a full-on retreat. The army cannot hold on forever in the separated state. A decision must be made. If the attack or retreat is without full strength, if no, not everybody agrees on it, then the Byzantine army will experience massive casualties. If all generals and messengers were trustworthy, then there's no problem here. A consensus is absolute. However, some of the messengers and even maybe a few generals or commanders could be traitors. If they are spies or enemy soldiers, there is a very high chance that they will not follow orders. They will pass on the incorrect message. There has to be some sort of verification in order to make sure that the information has not been compromised by enemies. The network of generals is able to communicate with each other in order to verify the messages being transmitted. If there's a discrepancy, it's easy to identify who is the traitor just by asking the different generals. Bitcoin uses the same exact method of checking transactions. Instead of decision-making generals communicating a plan of attack, Bitcoin nodes communicate the validity of transactions. Nodes make up a peer-to-peer -peer network that checks the validity of messages that other nodes are sending. The nodes that make up the Bitcoin network are constantly double-checking other nodes. In the computer science world, this problem refers to the possibility of having to cope with the failure of some of the components or nodes in the system. If a problem with the node arises, the whole network will not grind to a halt. Rather, blocks will continue to be produced as normal. This term is used frequently in the blockchain world as it refers to the problem of reaching consensus in a public blockchain where not all parties are assumed to be trustworthy. 